Hi Vicki, we're going to look right now at how to work with the offset command. Um, offset is a pretty uh, pretty logical command, just like it is. It works pretty much just like it does in Google SketchUp. Um, the way it goes together specifically, okay, you, uh, where is offset? It's here under the modify bar someplace. Yes, right here is offset. Okay, now down here on the command bar, if we look here, it says specify offset distance or through erase layer. Okay, so um, it gives you these options. Down here, the command line tells you what the program needs you to do to, to work with the command. Okay, through means it accepts the last uh, dimension that you use. Now I'll show you that one in a minute, but right now I'm going to specify an offset distance. Um, if I look at the plans, I know that um, there is a wall that is 15 feet from this wall right here. So I'm going to enter, whoops, I'm going to start my offset command again, and I'm going to enter 15 feet. So 15 with the apostrophe for feet, and then it says select the object to offset. Okay, so I'm going to select this one right here, and I'm going to pull in the direction that the object is. Okay, so now I have that wall in place. And I'm going to go ahead and extend it to the other side because I know it goes all the way to the other side. Come on. Okay, so now then, I'm going to use the offset command again. I'm going to go back up here and get it. This time, it says through means it would use 15 feet. So if I wanted it to go another 15 feet, I would just use it. Okay, but I only want it to go four inches. So I'm going to enter four, enter. And I'm going to turn off the snap. Oops, no. More snap. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got the thickness of that wall is four inches. And that works perfectly. Okay. So that gives me that wall right there, and I'm going to come in here and trim this. Okay, now then. Um, let's see here. So now here in the middle of the room, I've got the desk. Let me locate the desk first. So I'm going to go offset, four foot, one inch. Offset this line and it comes to this side. So I've got to pull it over here and notice that it's previewing The direction for me What is my snap grid set on here? Okay, let me check something here snap Okay, it's set on half inch That's okay. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off just to make it a little bit easier for me here. I think my mouse is dying. Okay, so it accident it went ahead and offset to this side for me. So there we go. For some reason I've got two. Okay, so I'm going to offset. I want to go four foot one. So since I want the dimension it's got here, I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to grab hold of this line right here, and I'm going to come to this side. And then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter to call up the offset command again, and I'm going to enter six foot six because that's the next distance I want. And I'm going to grab my line, offset to this side, hit enter. Then I'm going to do it again. This time I want four foot five. Okay, so I can kind of continue doing this on and on and on just by hitting enter in between the commands. Okay, the next dimension is five foot five. And so you see it gets, it's really easy to lay out the dimensions here. Okay, so now let's look at some of the other pieces of the uh, offset command. If you choose E, it says erase source object after offsetting. So you can say yes or no and it will do it if you want it to. So that would be if you've got something in the wrong spot. Um, layer, uh, select layer object select layer option for offset objects. So, for example, if you're offsetting an object and you want it to land on a different layer, which you'll learn about soon, you can fix that. So, right now we're going to leave it as source. 
so that everything's on the same layer. I think that's everything you need to know about the offset command. Let me know if you need more help. Thanks. Whoops. My button's covered up here. Where's my button?